Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to have an audio or video file start playing when you log on to your computer. So this will work if you're logging on from, let's say, a different user account, or if you're starting your computer you know, from being completely turned off, it'll work the same way. So we're going to show you two different methods, and I will say that the more difficult method uh, works a little better, as in it starts the uh, file quicker compared to the easier method, so it's up to you to decide which one you want to use. All right, so for our example here, we have a song in our music folder that we're going to be using. So the first method involves creating a shortcut to that song. So it doesn't have to be a song. It could be a video, WAV file, whatever you want it to be. All right, so we have this path here. So we're going to be using the Windows Media Player Legacy because supposedly the newer Windows Media Player doesn't allow you to use a path to a file like this for a shortcut. So you'll have to have this path here in the quotes, and then you'll have to edit this path to put the uh, location of your audio or video file. So this will be the same for your shortcut. This will have to change depending on where your file is located. All right, so we're going to copy the whole thing here. We're going to right click on the desktop. We're just going to put it on the desktop for now. New shortcut. Paste that in there. Click on next. We'll just give it a name. All right, we'll double click our shortcut to make sure it works. Okay. All right, so now what we want to do is go to this folder here. So you'll have to change just this part here to match your username. Let me just go to File Explorer. I already have it open here. Then you can just drag your shortcut into it. You can't drag the actual file itself. It has to be a shortcut to that file. All right, so now we have it in there. All right, so let's test it out by logging off and back in. You could also reboot too, but we're just going to do the quicker way here. All right, so like I said, this method uh, takes a little bit longer for the file to start because Windows has to go through all its processes and other startup items for when you log in, so it may not be the first thing it does. So we'll just give it a second here. All right, so there we go. So, All right, so that took maybe a minute or so before it actually started, so... If you want to do a faster method, we'll show you how to do that next here. All right, so first, let's actually go delete that from here so it doesn't start up using the startup folder. All right, so the next method we're going to use involves using the Windows Task Scheduler. So if you just type in Task Scheduler from the search box here. All right, so I already have one configured here, but I have it disabled, so let me enable it, and then I'll show you how I configured it here. So under General, I just gave it a name. It could be whatever you like. Uh, you want to check the option here to run only when users logged in, and you probably want to check the Run with Highest Privileges box here as well. And then for Triggers, you want to begin the task at Logon. Uh, you could do any user if you want, or if you want to just have it for your user, you could do that as well. And then I suggest you delay the task for 10 seconds. You have some options here, but you could click on 30 and then just change this to 10 if you want. Make sure it's enabled. And then for the actions, all you need to do is choose the option for start a program and put the path to your file. You don't have to put anything else about the Windows Media Player because it'll just use your default uh, Media Player, even if it's not Windows Media Player, to start the file. And then for conditions, you could change any of these if you're on a laptop, for example. And then you shouldn't have to change anything here as well. Just leave the defaults here. And that's all there is to it. All right, so let's try this one out here. So it's enabled, ready to go. So 
So we'll see how much faster this one starts up. So just remember we have that 10 second delay as well, so it's going to be at least 10 seconds before it starts. And you might be able to lower it even more. Alright, so you can see that started up a lot quicker than the other method. So if you don't mind using this task scheduler method, uh, then it's probably the way to go. All right, so let's go back to the notepad file here. So I will put this stuff in the description if you feel like doing the uh, shortcut method. But like I said, it's going to be a little bit longer before it starts, but that might be okay. And then if you wanted to start a little quicker, you could do the uh, task scheduler method. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.